Here we go. Five o'clock. It's five o'clock. It's five o'clock. The light in my in my space right now is particularly interesting. Um, it's five o'clock. It's Monday. It's time for Watch Me Work. We, we have been doing Watch Me Work for like a million years. No, I'm exaggerating. For like 14 years, 15 years. We started in the lobby of the public theater. We were doing it live. And Howl Round and the public theater were supporting us. And all these years later, we're on Zoom. We've been on Zoom since lockdown and the pandemic. And we are happily on Zoom, still being supported by the public theater and by Howl Round. So thank you to both of those wonderful groups of wonderful people. We have been doing the same thing all this time. We worked together for 20 minutes. And then, I mean, you can work on anything you want. And then we, I invite you to ask me questions about your work and your creative process. And we have plenty of time to talk shop. We have no time for you to perform or read out loud from your work. You know, it's, we don't have that kind of space, but it is the place to talk shop. And if you want to ha have a question, ask a question, how should we do that? Zoe Kim, Newark Department. Yes. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another lovely session of Watch Me Work. So excited to see you all. Um, so after the 20 minute work session, we will go and um, get some questions going. So in order to ask your question, please use the raise your hand function in the bottom of your Zoom screen so we can have a nice and orderly queue going. And from there, either me or Hannah or Amritha will um, call on your name and ask you to please unmute to ask your question. Excellent. Thank you very much, darlings. And so let's get started. Um, bam.
All right. That's 20 minutes. And now's the time when um, you have questions about your work and or your creative process, happy to talk with you about what you are up to. Yes, and just a friendly reminder, if you have a question, please go ahead and use the raise hand function at the bottom of your Zoom screen and we will call in your name. Yes, Charlie, please unmute and ask your question. Thank you. Good evening or afternoon, everyone. Um, sort of a mechanical question. I've got a couple of plays that are going to have informal table readings in the next couple of months. And in the past, um, we've taken our play and then hacked down the stage directions such that, you know, we have, we have some very elaborate stage directions at times that hopefully are useful in like a real production, but certainly not something anyone wants to be listening to, much less reading. Just curious if you have any tips or tricks on how to boil down stage directions to what's appropriate for a typical reading. Yeah, great question, Charlie. And is this, do I remember correctly, you're, you write with a partner? No. Yes, you? you remember yeah. very well. I remember you write with a partner. Cool, cool, cool. So it's uh, so uh, the decisions will be uh, both of you will be deciding, right? Typically, Kinda? my writing partner does this, and I will review it. But she's very Ooh. adept at it and experienced. And uh -huh. if I if there's anything I feel strongly about, I might mention it ahead of time. But uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I I would say I mean I, I mean I, I love good writing whether it's a stage direction or a you know shopping list or whatever. Um so so it's all it's all lovely. Um hmm. You might it, it it might not be a hard and fast rule. Maybe there's a slightly longer one at the top of the play, you know? Um maybe and then the, in the body of the text so, so because you what i feel is you probably don't want an audience member sitting there listening to a stage direction while they're in the middle of some kind of exciting action you know so maybe the places for stage directions if you want them to be a little longer maybe you know this long i don't know what is that a quarter of a page a, half, a third of a page you know Maybe that the place for those might be toward the top of the play or toward the top of an act, you know, um, where we're it's providing kind of an on ramp or maybe at the top of a scene providing an on ramp or an off ramp. Um, but uh, there's no hard and fast rule. I mean, if 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 you're inclined to cut them way down, you can also just cut. I have some directors like they say, oh, I don't even read stage directions, you know. Um, I would say boil it down to the essential elements. You know, what do you really need? You know, and keep it if, moving. if it's, if it, yeah, yeah. Keep it move. What do you really need? Keep it moving. For example, if it's like this whole play takes place in the mind of one person and we're examining their multiple personalities that you probably would need. You know, but you wouldn't need to describe in detail each person and give their whole backstory and character history. Yeah, it's tricky because it's probably really good writing, right? Uh, we're trying to figure that out. We're trying to make it better every day. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I, I hear what yeah. you're saying that there is, there can be a place for more description. We're just concerned there are times when there's some action, but we don't want things to slow down. But we also want the audience to understand what's happening. Yeah. Right. Well, you can put, you can be sneaky and, and put the action in the line, you know? You know, like Shakespeare, you know? You know what I mean? Like, where's that play? I can't remember it. Uh, nah, I can't remember what it is. Anyway, there, you know, the whole, there's a whole scene like, get off your knees. And the woman says, no, I'm not going to get off my knees. So someone's begging. I can't remember. Maybe some smart Shakespeare the second. Oh, I'm not. What, what is it? What is it, girl? It's, it's Richard the Second. It's, Richard the Second. He's like, get off your knees. No, I'm not going to get off my knees. I'm paraphrasing yeah. horribly. But they go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And finally, they win whatever they're begging for, I think. And they get up. You know? Um, that's a sneaky way to say, you know, to put the action in the line. So you can be sneaky like that. Hey, I'll try to I'll see if I, there's a sneaky side to me. I can tap. But uh, I think thanks. I mean, good, good ideas here. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for your question, Charlie. Thank you. And the light today is coming from the at a New York afternoon, which makes it like I'm in some kind of a haze. Kind of cool. Weird. All Maybe right. Windows is Thank you. Um, I'm going to pass it over to uh, the incredible Hannah. Hi. Okay. Jillian, feel free to unmute yourself and ask your question. Hi. Hi, Sophie. So my question hey. is, I am looking for, so I'll ask the question, give the context. What's the best way to convey the essence and emotional depth of a story, like a feature film in pitch pages while keeping it concise and commercially appealing? So I'm working on an eight page document for a screenplay and I just want to ensure that my voice is still there. The story comes through, um, keep it fun to read. Um, and, and essentially the birth of this is a producer liked an idea and concept I presented through a log line. And the next step is send me some pitch pages. So this is an interesting place I find myself in because it's not outline necessarily, but it's also not what it's going to be. So I'm just, uh, yeah, any guidance there would be great. <laughs> sure, sure. And the first thing I'll say might not, it won't be creative. Okay. Are you a so, member of the writer? Are you a member of the Writers Guild? I am not. Oh wow. Okay. So um, I would suggest either join the Writers Guild. It's not expensive, or, or you can you can uh, you can what do you call it? Register a work okay. with the Writers Guild without being a member. Okay. 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 So you can, you don't have to even join. Right. You can just I think you can just go online and it's a little more expensive, but it's worth it. And okay. or register it with the copyrights um you know the united states copyright office you can do both these things online okay okay and sadly i say that first because yeah. sending pitch pages you know i mean mm -hmm. everybody hey everybody in hollywood is so honest <laughs> and sometimes yeah. No ideas, you know, over lunch, you know, when they're yeah. eating the salad, they might say, oh, my God. Yeah. And then there's your idea in somebody else's salad. And it's yeah. then it's their idea. OK, yeah. not your yeah. not your friend that you're pitching to, but yep. somebody else. Yep. OK, but mm -hmm. so if you, you got you register your beautiful idea with the WGA and you have the WGA registered number on it and then you send it out. OK, OK, that's. That's the last answer first. And then how do we get concise? I would say, and it's weird, you know, your name, sister, is obscured by the number on the screen. What is your name? I can't see it. Oh, Jillian Austin. Jill, oh, Jillian. Okay, because there's a little thing that oh, says please. how many people are in the Zoom and oh, it's obscuring it. your name. Jillian. Okay. okay, Jillian. So, so Jillian, um, so the uh, in my experience, a pitch document is like a performance. Okay, and this okay. is my experience. Uh, not everybody, but when I pitch, I pitch like this. Hey, you know, this is the story, and this is how it's gonna go. And but 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 so you want it to have a feel, in my experience, of a performance. 
okay. like you're on stage, you're captivating your audience. Oh my God. You know, you've mm -hmm. seen, have you seen um silly movies, wonderful movies actually, like the player, that movie, the player, Robert Altman player. Yeah. It's called yeah, the player. It's been a long time, but yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's yeah, it's was a while back. But you know, here, you know, here we, we zoom in and then yeah. like that. They're very theatrical, they're very performative when they pitch. Your pages, in my opinion, need to be like that. It needs okay. to be like a dramatic monologue. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah. it needs to have that. It needs to have the rhythm of speech, the excitement of, of characters and all that. It, it, um, so you're going to want to try it out on your friends, on your spouse, who might not be your friend, on your dog, <laughs> on your cat, on your, on, in the mirror, in the bathroom. Yeah. To an empty section of, you know what I mean? You, you really want it to right. be lively. Mm -hmm. I would, eight pages sounds like a lot. In my experience, all these honest Hollywood people ain't gonna read no eight pages. Yeah. That's my experience. They're like, mm -hmm. oh, three pages. Oh, I'm tired. I need to have another, you know, I need to, you know, they're yeah. busy. Yeah, yeah. I think eight pages is the goal I'm giving myself because, um the 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 writer that I was talking to who's like oh let me give you some pitch pages that you know that you can kind of see a version of it um they were about eight pages um so yeah, that's, that's why a lot nobody's asking okay for that, okay but... you're right no no that's good if, if that's the example then that's cool I would be like two mm-hmm well, then it's is like, it a, how do it, I get all this in two pages? Maybe I'm, you know. Because, because it's like, <laughs> it's like, hey, okay, this is what happened. But if, uh, that's actual. I mean, think of your, do you read, have you ever read a play by Shakespeare? Yes. Great. What's your favorite, What what's play? Can you just, I mean, I'm not going to ask you. Mm -hmm. I just want the title. Probably what I'm most familiar with. Well, I did Midsummer Night's Dream recently. Go with that one. It's, you, you did it? Yeah, like I performed you, it. I was great. Okay, great. Okay, I was so, or Hippolyta, dude, five act it. play, right? Yeah. Five acts, right? It's long. That's a long motherfucker. Okay, excuse my language. Okay, so <laughs> if you could like tell yourself the story of Midsummer Night's nice Dream mm -hmm. in like two pages. Okay. Okay. So hey, there's this there's this dude, right? And he mm -hmm. and then there's this queen, and they live in the woods. Okay, whatever, however you want to yeah. tell it, and then mm -hmm. there's Fairy that come out. and then they're doing this play within a play, oh, mm -hmm. right? Or whatever. I think that's right. Midsummer Night's Dream. Yeah, that's see right. if you can tell Midsummer Night's Dream in, in two pages. Mm, okay, I see what you're saying, and then you'll get the flavor of what you got to do with your work. Okay, that's a good idea. We All can right. learn from these 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 people who did it really well. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're cheering <laughs> us on. Okay, got it. No, that's Six a great, great for you. He's like, go, girl, come on. <laughs> All right. You know what cool. I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, that, that makes try, sense. Try that. That will okay. really give you an idea of, of how to trim it down. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Who were you in Midsummer Night's Dream? I was a uh, Hippolyta. Okay. Yeah, it was fun. And it was a, they, they did a musical thing. It was like a musical mashup thing too with it. Oh, nice. Outside, oh, it was cool. fun. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that sounds like fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Lisa. Feel free to unmute yourself. Hello. How are you? Happy to see you. Nice to see you, too. Hi, everybody. Um, I, I debate, once again, I debated asking this question because I'm not sure how to phrase it. But I'm going to put it under writer's guilt. Okay. Okay. We're in, okay. turning into the room. Writer's guilt. Writer's guilt. Uh, feeling guilty about not necessarily taking the time to write, but taking the time to write when other people are depending on you to do things. Meaning, like, 
make dinner, pick up the dry cleaning, you know, all that kind of, of stuff, uh, go to Trader Joe's. Uh, well, what do you mean you couldn't go to Trader Joe's? You just been doing what um it would be one thing i guess if you know um you know you had a play on broadway and a novel coming out and a collection of short stories that's adapted for a movie or something like that but when you're just kind of starting the justification can sometimes become very difficult mm. and i don't think it's just me mm. um mm. okay everybody's mm. like no not just Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. Go, so. on, go on. No, no. So, so uh, it's funny you call it writer's guilt because I would call that yes. like relationship guilt. Like, I'm not, I don't feel bad. I'm not right. I'm like, oh, honey, I've let, but you, you, you might have in the while we were working seen me do this just, just a few minutes ago. People came into the room and I was like, no, mm -mm, go away. Um, I know, you know, um, yeah. Uh, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of un untangling what you're saying because it. while one might think, yes, yes, it might be easier if one had, you know, the, the play on, you know, Mars running forever um, to justify the sort of, I can't go to Trader Joe's because my play is running on Mars. Um, It's a balance. It's always a balance, right, Lisa? It, 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 it's really always a balance. It's, um, hmm, how can I, okay, one. Uh, I know you're, you're, the people asking Trader Joe's of you and all those, they, they believe in you and they love you. And they're asking you to, can you, it's, it's, how can I say this without being like mean or unkind to those poor people who want us to go to Trader Joe's? Um, <laughs> it's a it's a balance some on some because i know that you you're not like i'm never going to trader joe's because i'm writing my novel i know you're not like that i can tell you're not like that because you called it writer's guilt mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what i mean so it's a balance i think it takes a lot of um talking like hey um uh we're in a relationship and we, I mean, for example, you're in a relationship with your family members or who, the people who want you to go to Trader Joe's. And you're also in a relationship with, you know, the spirit, you know, and I bet you know which one I choose. And so the idea is you got to get a spouse or a family that understands that. My poor child, I know he'll probably talk about it in therapy well, hopefully but you know the other day I was, I was reading a screenplay aloud because I was trying to make sure that landed right I mean the rhythm was right and he comes in and starts telling me get back, get back, get back. and I'm like shut up and he like jumped I mean he's a tall he's a big kid jump left <gasps> like that and I was like oh god I'm so sorry I was working <laughs> I apologize so oh, there's a lot of I'm sorry but not guilty you don't have to feel guilty you just have to remind them and yourself that you you, know, you are a, a, an artist and you're being called continually by a power that passeth all our understanding. And to be called continually by that power is a is means that you have to explain it to the folks who might also be called your spouse might be an artist, you know, or your child might be an artist. And you have to explain to them, this is what it's like, you know, when mommy is listening to the Holy Spirit or when, you know, I'm listening to the Holy Spirit, <laughs> my head's on fire. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, uh, there's there are not a lot of people in the world. I mean, they're not an overwhelming number of people in the world who actually listen. Everybody is called, not everybody listens. And when you make time to listen daily, it's such a beautiful gift that you are giving the world and your family, I think. Mm -hmm. You're giving, you're, you're making it possible for your family, your immediate family, your spouse, the world, your world family to receive the gifts that you are mining daily. And 
you know, yes, some people will be disappointed, but you, you, you can't leave the planet without answering the call. You know, you just, you, or, 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 I mean, you know, I mean, you, you can, but you, you ought not. So, you know, it's, and it's, it's hard. And even when, I mean, I'm just honest, even when, Lisa, you do have a play running on Mars, they're still going to want you to go to Trader Joe's. And that's okay. <laughs> and that's okay. And you'll be like, yeah, I'll go. I'll go. And you, you find, I mean, and the cool thing is there are pockets of time. Time will present itself. I mean, I go to Trader Joe's usually at, at eight o'clock in the morning, right when they open, I walk my kid to school. On the way home, I got my shopping bag. I go to Trader Joe's. It takes 12 minutes. I've timed it. It's amazing. Boom! Trader Joe's is done. Fresh Direct is also our friend. You know, the, the wonderful miracle workers of Fresh Direct. You know what I mean? So we're good. And then, of course, there's always takeout. You know? <laughs> You know what I mean? I mean, so you kind of cobble it together um, because you want everyone to know that they're loved and, and, and respected and you're holding your, your end. You know, you're not just making them do all the Trader Joe's kinds of things because you're writing, you know, I mean, you know, I, I marvel. I read about, you know, writers of old or whatever, you know, like Flaubert. He talks about, you know, in his writing, his cook. My cook was down. I'm like, whoa. Virginia Woolf, you know, cook did this and that and the other. You know, I'm like, oh, how lovely. Wouldn't it be nice? You know what I mean? It doesn't work like that in my in my uh, area. But so just keep talking to them, your your loved ones. Does that make sense? It does. It does. And that bit about the spirit was really lovely, really nice. Um, it's right up there with your statement, your characters are always asking for money, <laughs> which is my single favorite thing I think you've ever said. <laughs> it's so horrible, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, but, wow. Yeah. But, you know, this is what we do. This is our thing. I mean, when I was a kid, I looked, I had some hymnal or something, Bible or something. You see those pictures and the saints, you know, whatever they were. Pentecost, you know, and everybody's head was on fire. And I'm like, that's what I want to do. It is hard having a family and a, raising a kid and having a spouse and having friends when your head is on fire all the time. No, yeah, but that's, if that's who you are, look, Lisa, and every week, Lisa, you show up in front of a red wall and I'm like, yeah, you're telling me something. <laughs> there you go, right? Right. That's who, we, that's who we are, you know, that's who you are. And, 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 and you, and you also are a person with, you know, obligations to those people who are just outside the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, my son is playing his violin. He'll work, he's working it out that way. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, what a question. Oh boy. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa, for your question. If anyone else has one, feel free to uh, raise your hand. And meet yourself and ask. Go ahead, Sasha. Unmute yourself, Sasha. Yes. I can't hear you. Sorry. Hi, everyone. Hi, SLP. Hey. Um, I, I, I thought I'd, I, I kind of want to piggyback off of Lisa's question and ask, um, yeah, that was such a beautiful moment where just talking about the, the spirit. And um, I guess I was wondering if you have any way to know when you're being a good listener or if you're kind of like in your head too much rather than really listening properly um i guess i'm like kind of an overthinker um but uh so how how you know you're you're really listening and if you're not how to kind of get back on track mm -hmm. listening to so listening to 
the people who want you to go to Trader Joe's. No. Oh, you're 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 this. Yeah. You're, you're this. Yeah, exactly. I didn't know the words, but that. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. The channel. I, the yeah, the channel. Yeah, the channel. I I find it. I I do lots of different kinds of things. You know, um, m one of my favorite things. I think I talked about this before. Is is earplugs. You know, foam earplugs. Um, and listening, to, in my experience, it doesn't feel like thinking. It feels like someone else is talking and I'm just writing down what they say. So a lot of times it helps if I, earplugs help me focus in on, on you know, because, because out here people want you to go to Trader Joe's or want you to go to their play or want you to you know call them back or whatever you know what i mean um but so so finding ways to focus and to to not necessarily shut out the noise it's not noise it's all noise but to sort of focus on on your channel is really important um it's helpful for me to remember as often as i can what the character wants Desire helps me drop below the level of thinking. Not that thinking's bad, but like thinking like, brrr, like this kind of nervous thinking. If I'm like, what does she want? What is she reaching for? I want, you know what I mean? Like a kid, a child wants an ice cream cone or I gotta go to the bathroom. You know, simple, like, <laughs> like basic things like that that are below the level of, hmm. Here's an idea. Here's a, a story about an issue that would mean this. That's that's thinking to me in my experience. So I really try to I work to click into what the character wants more than anything. And and focusing on what she or he or they or them, you know, whatever pronouns you want, what, what they want draws them to me draws me to them it's like a cord it's like that's like the umbilical cord that connects me to my characters on a very deep level right deep level below the head you know so just think try to think about your desires and be careful and if you can't you know if you're too distracted ask your characters you know say you have a character named i don't know sally you know, Sally, oh, not Sally, you know, what? I just wrote a play about Sally, maybe somebody else. Um, uh, Mariah, Mariah, what do you want? What do you want? You know, what do you, what are you really desiring? Come on, girl, if you could have anything, what would it be? And how can I help you get it? Make her an offer she can't refuse, right? And there you two are linked together. Oh my gosh, she wants something and you're going to help her get it. Because you're the writer or the artist and that's what we do. Does that help? Yeah, it helps a lot. And you don't recommend like trying to create obstacles. I'm not saying that I do that. I'm just, when you were saying that, I kind of started to wonder like if we're manufacturing obstacles you know or if we're being really generous magnanimous you know like god or something and i don't know well if i'm like like right now you're like well how do i stop thinking and i'm like connect to the want of your character and you're like well what if i create an obstacle you're gonna the obstacle are gonna come up on their own you just can't you just created one i mean they're going to come up on their own. Hey, come on. Hey, Sasha, what do you want to do? I want to go to, where, where do you live right now? Just for example. I live in Connecticut. Great. Sasha, what do you want to do right now? I want to come to New York for for, for the the weekend. Okay, great. But I don't have a car. Mm. You see, it's it's, a nat, it's an obstacle. It's just going to come up. And it's not so much an obstacle. It's just something that needs to be solved. It's like a thing. It's not a, a an obst. It's like a oh well. I got to do that. You know, Cinderella. You want to go to the ball? Yeah, but I don't have anything to wear. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get myself some shoes or whatever she needed a dress too. I suppose. 
You know what I mean? They're just things. They're just the things that 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 happen along the way. Dorothy, she's got to get to the wizard. There's this guy doing this. It's not necessarily an obstacle. It's just a thing that's like happening. You see? She's going to deal with. But just think of what your characters want. Don't worry about the obstacles. I do think that if you're an overthinker, the obstacles are going to come up naturally. <laughs> Yes, just like in life, I guess, right? It will come. The, ob the things that your character will have to deal with. The things, the adventures mm -hmm. along the way. The, the exciting moments, the people she meets or they meet as they travel down the road of their adventure. Those are the things that will happen, you know? Mm -hmm. Because that's part of wanting something. There's gonna there's interference. There are pieces of dust in the air right now between me seeing you seeing me and me seeing you. Those are like, oh. but really connect with what your character wants. I think that'll get you sort of you know, free you up from overthinking, like you called it. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And talk to them if you can't hear them. Talk to them. You know, if you, you want to make sure you're listening, you know? Do you talk to yourself ever? Yeah, I talk to myself a lot. Oh, good. Then great. You're, you're, you're practiced. Well, what I'm worried about is the listening part. Like, I'm good at talking, but maybe not as good at, at listening. But I think what you said Who told was you really that? great. But now Who, I... Who told you you weren't good at listening? Well, I don't think I'm terrible. I'm not like the worst at it, but sometimes I wonder if it's if it's if, if the voice I'm hearing is just my own neurosis. Well, of course it is. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh my god. And books and books are filled with them. And <laughs> and, and and that's okay. You know, and I'm just trying to the Yaga earrings you have. I just thought that might be interesting. Um, but that's okay, you know what I mean? And your and the sound that and the, your voices in your head might be your own neurosis and 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 put it down in an organized way, organize the chaos, call it a novel, and so we can all read it mm -hmm. and get solace from you having organized what seemed to be chaotic. Wow. I mean, don't you think Virginia Woolf was I mean, <laughs> right? I mean, she's a great writer, but oh, she's crazy. Don't, I mean, I mean, yeah. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. She terrifies me. I don't think I get any solace from her at all. I get like nightmares from her. But okay, well, but what... is, maybe you're crazy in a different way. Um, I love reading. She's her dark. She's, she's very dark. Calm. Yeah, she's very calming. It's like, oh, girl, you're so crazy. You're just making me relax. She's just or <laughs> she's organizing a type of chaos, and I really appreciate it the organizational principle but anyway but that's i mean you know every each to each their own um some people hate shakespeare you know whatever uh or tony morrison some people hate tony morrison i don't know whatever no but is it that what we that's what writers do i mean tony morrison was just like running her thing out of her head <laughs> august wilson blah blah it's like a shot game blah, 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 blah. you know what i mean yeah, I think they were adding sanity actually to the world. Yes, yes. Whereas yeah. Virginia Woolf, I don't know. Oh well, oh, she, I, 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 to me, she adds a tremendous amount of sanity. And you know, I mean, I feel like her people weren't my people, and I don't think she thought much of my people. And still, I read her, and I think, wow. For the time, you know, she was progressive as a woman, as a woman, as a writer. I mean, there wasn't really women in the canon before her that I that I really know of. Mm -hmm. It's neither here nor there. What we're talking about is you yeah. and your characters and that you are allowed. And if it's only what you might think of as your own neurosis or whatever you call it, that's okay. That's okay. That's good enough. 
you just have to listen to it and write it down and love on it a little bit. I love that. Somehow you managed to kind of get right to the core, the essence of the what I'm writing, what I was working on when we were at the beginning, like chaotic. And it is chaotic, but my contribution is to try to make some sense out of it, I think. And you cut right, you somehow, you cut right to that. So thank you for, thank you, thank you for taking your time to answer my question. Sure, sure. Great question, Sasha. Great questions today. I'm just realizing that, you know, there's a, I'm not an acupuncturist, but I do think there's a, an acupuncture thing that has something to do with putting things on your ears. Yeah, Jed's, Jed, Jed is nodding. I'm gonna try that. And it's cool because like clothespins are not expensive. See how much fun you can have? It's so easy. We have three minutes. Anybody got a question? Okay, Crystal, feel free to unmute yourself. Hey, Crystal. Hi. Hey, um, darling. How are you? I'm doing all right. A little stressed, but I'm doing all right. Mm. I um I actually just wanted to update you just on the uh the one woman show. Yes. Uh, it's uh it's coming along very well. It's coming along very well. I, I I'm I'm the there were coming in. I was very um self conscious because I'm like I'm not Japanese and I'm not this and all of these you know voices mm -hmm. were um uh, bothering me. But mm -hmm. then I was like, well someone asked me it's not like i'm like going out there and saying hey i'm not japanese but i can make this happen somebody asked me and so like i felt like i have this new like confidence and um i'm almost done today is a deadline a finish line i'm almost done this draft I'm, it's been crazy um i guess my like semi question is like um for like writing for someone else who wants like a time um limit like an hour or so for a, a one person show um how do i uh how do i f i don't want to say fluff it up but how do i add more to um make it like i we're going into I, you already know what the project is but we're going into yeah. yes um her backstory and we're going into what actually happened and then someone else who kind of saves her from you know her own demise but i'm like okay is this an hour um <laughs> um so i guess i'm just trying to figure out what else is there that i could add oh it's exciting i love it when this happens hold on because charlie's problem is your solution so Stage directions. Oh. <laughs> you can write all kinds of things. You can describe, I mean, because I, it, it's the character in Rashomon, the, the female character, is that? Yes. Great. She was like, whoa, right? Okay, wow, look, describe something like the landscape. She was like a, 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 a she was an, a very intense character. She can yeah. just talk. Like that, I, that's what I remember from the movie. She was mm -hmm. very, she was, uh, she was, was she dead? No, was she channeling the dead? What was she doing in the movie? Anyway. That was the husband, yeah. Um, okay, but she was, she was like, she was kind of talking and yeah. She can just, you can give lots of lots of stage directions that actually she can read. Okay. She can tell us stories. She can, you can add music, she can dance. Okay. Stage direction, that's, Stage that's direction. an easy fix. And okay. you can borrow Charlie's if he cuts them, you can just borrow them. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, but you know, I mean, they're, they're gonna be in the ether. Lots and lots of stage directions, go to town. All right. And they're gonna be so beautifully written, Crystal, because you're gonna write them so beautifully that she'll just be able to read them out loud. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. See, these actually do work. <laughs> All right. It's six oh one. Are we back next week or no? Yeah, we, we are. are. 
We're back next week. Mm-hmm. Fan-